Hi, this is Mayor Daniel Rickman reaching out to you. Um, as you know, Columbia was hit heavily with this hurricane that came through, and we have had power outages across the Midlands. Uh, over 204 trees have come down, 28 of those wrapped with electrical lines, causing devastation to the transmission across to deliver power in. We're working with our partners at Dominion. Our public work staff is, has been out and about and reduced a lot of that to under 50 trees across the community. But there are trees on our friends and our neighbors' homes. There's lots of debris everywhere. There's still lines and there's lots of you without power. All of that is being worked on and working on with our partnership with Dominion and the other agencies working in collaboration to try to get us through this as quickly as possible. On Sunday, we're going to have crews that are coming from out of state to help assist Dominion and others to get power restored as quickly as possible. And we appreciate those folks who are coming here from other states to help us. We know that there's going to be at least several thousand homes back online this evening, and we're going to continue to work and monitor to ensure and help Dominion do whatever it takes to get power back on. And let's make sure we check on our neighbors, our friends, but let's work together and thank those who are working tirelessly to help this happen. But just know that we're going to work tirelessly to get us as a city and a Midlands back up to full speed as quickly as possible. Hurricane Helene proved to be an unpredictable yet massive storm impacting our South Carolina service territory. As a result of Helene, you can walk through your neighborhoods and you can see the devastation and the damage. No other storm has impacted across our service territory as completely and as devastating as Helene. As a result of that, we have put all resources that we can possibly muster in order to return our customers' lives back to normal. We know that's what you expect of us. The crews that you see behind me are Dominion Energy crews that, have, that came down before the storm even hit from Virginia to South Carolina to go ahead and pre-stage and prepare. We do this for you. Now, it's going to be a long recovery period. When we say long, probably into next week. Why? Well, it has to do with how we restore power. And let's give some specifics about it instead of just talking in general terms. We first have to focus on our transmission. As a result of the winds of these storms, we had an unprecedented 88 transmission lines impacted on our system. Those transmission lines have to be restored first and foremost because those are the lines that bring electricity to the substations in your neighborhood. I'm glad to say that today we will have the majority of those transmission lines back on, and so that's good news in this progressive march to restore your lives to normal. Then once the substations come back on, then we can begin the process of restoring the neighborhoods on the distribution side. There are several things you can do to help us. Number one, please be patient. We know that your power is off. We know the issues. We want you to communicate still with us. Our company app, the Dominion Energy app, is a great way for you to let us know. It is the most secure means of communicating with Dominion Energy. Through that process, there will come a time, we aren't able to do it at this time, we'll be able to begin issuing estimated times of restoration, which I know I know is foremost on our customers' minds because I have spoken to enough of our customers in person and by phone. In addition to that, stay away from down power lines, please. Also, if you're involved with clearing trees and debris because there's a lot of that going on from this devastation, understand that if wires are caught up in trees, they will be under tension. As you cut the tree, those wires under tension can release, and as they spring back, they can have devastating consequences to you from a personal safety standpoint. If your weatherhead or your service has been pulled away from your house, then you need to get a qualified electrician to come in and do an inspection 
and perhaps repair your weather head, which is the staff where the service line connects into your home, as well as repair your meter can that is directly underneath it. Once that is done, then we can come and pull your service line back up and restore your power. We understand that this storm has brought a lot of chaos and a lot of destruction to the communities that we serve. But we also understand that this is South Carolina and we come together as Team South Carolina. And it's not just officials and linemen and folks like that that you see, but it's neighbors helping neighbors. This is the time when we rise to the occasion and may our positive energy that we are trying to display with an army of individuals out trying to serve you and restore your power, that that same becomes in your neighborhood as you go out and help your neighbors who are in need. If we all pull together, we'll get that, we'll get everybody's power restored, we'll be better off it, and we'll look back and we'll be thankful that our lives have been returned to normal.